All right, so what would you do if you were faced with a life-threatening situation and had only seconds to act? That's the premise of a new show from MSNBC Originals called Split Second Decision. Today, National Investigative Correspondent Jeff Rosson is the narrator of the series. And since we want to help keep you safe, then we all want to be safe, honestly. He's going to put us to the test to see how much we know and don't know. Hey, Jeff. Morning, guys. So we have a little game to play. Okay. So what's the deal? Okay, so we're going to question, I'm going to question you about different split second decisions. Okay. And I'm going to give you a multiple choice. And if you get it right, you take one step up okay, on one okay. of these little pumpkins or, you know, turkeys. Holiday or things. Just okay. holiday things. And then we have a prize at the end for whoever wins. So let's, let's get right to it. Great. Let's say, let's picture the weather is nice outside. Okay. Let's picture it's not winter. Right. And you're out on a boat, mm -hmm. okay? And your boat starts leaning over and taking on water. Right. What is your split-second decision? Here are the choices. A, help slower passengers off first so they're not trapped. Mm -hmm. B, dive into the ocean and swim away from the boat. Or C, Find something sturdy and hold on to it like a table on the boat. I'm going to uh, say would you A. Do? A. You do A. I'm going to go with A. You're going to go A, Jada? I'm going to say C. You're going to say C. None of you are right. Oh, All wrong. B? Yeah, you have to make the selfish decision here and jump off the boat That's and swim scare. away from the boat because ah. if you're holding on to something yeah, and that boat oh, turns capsized. over, you're uh, now stuck under okay. the boat and you can't help anybody else. No okay. Wow. okay. No one move. No one moves. Okay. Okay. Now we're going to talk about fire. Okay. You're trapped by a fire, and this right. could happen to a lot of people who are in hotels this weekend right. for the holiday. Okay? You're trapped by fire. Smoke is on the upper floor of the building. Uh -huh. What is your first move? Should you A, crawl b back through the building, B, call 911 and wait right there for help, uh -huh. or C, jump and try to cushion your fall. This is a, you, let's say you're on the fifth story. Yeah. Okay, so, it, uh, and you said we're on the upper floor? You're on an upper floor, fifth, five floors up. B. That's you're me, say I B? would call B. B? B yeah. C. C. Jada, I'm sorry, you're, no, don't move. You guys are right. Ah! <laughs> ah! <laughs> well, fake out, nice How job. How do you know there's a cushion to jump out of? I don't know, yeah, exactly. I just want to get out. <laughs> yeah, Jada, please do not jump out of a building. <laughs> May okay, not now, be anything there. Uh, now we're going to talk about battery fires. We've heard a lot about yeah. batteries sure. exploding, those lithium ion batteries. Right. Okay, so your battery powered device is on fire. Your first step is to call 911. What should be your next move? Here are the choices A, use a fire extinguisher mm -hmm. on the battery. B, pour water on it. Right. C, smother with baking soda. C. I, think say C? I have fire extinguisher. Fire extinguisher? C. C. Tamron's right. All right. You want to use the fire extinguisher. You can't put baking soda on it. That works on a grease fire in your uh -huh. kitchen, which you may That's also need this holiday weekend. Yes. Yeah. But it does not work on that. And so you know, could make people it even forget. Work. I keep like two fire extinguishers in my house, like one toward the kitchen area and one toward the back area. In case a, a cat attacks. <laughs> <laughs> An adult cat. Go on, Jeff. Okay, here we go. Now we're talking about thin ice. This is appropriate okay. for winter. A lot of thin ice out there. People this week, Thanksgiving week, playing yeah. on That's the on true. lakes. Okay. That's true. So the ice gives way from under you. You end up in the icy water. Oh. Right. A, what do you do? Kick your legs and move your arms to improve circulation and stay warm. B, take off your heavy winter clothing to stay afloat, which could be dragging you down. Right. Or C, swim to the edge of the ice and pull yourself up slowly. I say I A. Say C. C, A. I'm a loser here. <laughs> I'm um, learning. You're learning. I am going to say A. You're going to say A? Wrong. The answer is C. Good job, like Al I Roker. Said, swim you want to the edge you want to swim to the edge yeah. of the little ledge of the ice, pull yourself up, and what roll if yourself away. Jeff, then? Je Jeff, it's gonna break like no, the one I, that went underneath you. But you have to keep going to the place going, where it can be keep, sturdy. It'll, it, yeah. it'll, br it'll briefly support you yes. as you make your way closer. So you're like piecing your way. Oh, exactly. And then roll away. Don't stand yeah. up. Right. Okay. Let's talk about tornadoes. Okay. Obviously, yeah. and Al, you report on this all the time. Tornadoes incredibly dangerous. Let's say you've survived a tornado. In right. the aftermath, mm -hmm. what is the first thing you want to do? A, stay inside your house until help arrives. Mm -hmm. B, evacuate the area when the tornado passes. Or C, shut off the gas to stop gas leaks. I say C. 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 Yeah, C. I'm going with. Uh, I'm going to go with B. You're going to go with B. Oh, Al, you were so close. You guys are right. <laughs> oh, wow. can I go two places now? Yes. 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 You can. yes. yes. No, yes. you didn't bring enough food in your cooking section. Okay. Oh. Most people though don't know where the gas main is to turn off you the gas. You want to know where your gas valve is. That's, That's what why I, was I told. would get the heck out. Yeah, gas leak is super, <laughs> yeah, yeah, super yeah. dangerous. Most dangerous thing. All right, okay. one more. Can I do one more? No, I can't do one more time. Give me the prizes. Who won? Oh, the three-way tie. <laughs> three-way tie. Here you go. There's not a three-way tie. Oh, Got to show what the prize is. What is, what is, what is it? Not a Look what the producers tie. made for you. Let's see. Oh, my, I lost. Let me see. Wow. <laughs> Jeff Ross. And That's oh. a big win. I lost. Yeah. I'm okay right, with Jeff, it. Thank you. I'm okay I'm with it. No, you can catch Split Second Decision <laughs> Saturday night, 9, 8 Central on MSNBC. <laughs> Those are actually things you can learn yeah. that will save but your why life. Why do you throw the shirt, my shirt away? That's oh. another thing to learn. Cameron, next.